Assalamu alaikum everyone, happy Ramadan. So today we are going to look at this software Koal X and uh, this is the software that is uh, used to identify the crystal phases uh, that is to perform the qualitative analysis and that is why its name is Koal X. So it is a open license free software you can download it and you can analyze your XRD pattern you can uh, search and match different phases and you can open uh, your uh, PDF card yeah and you uh, all the information on the PDF card that is uh, useful and uh, you can Uh, search and match uh, from this uh, periodic table also so I'm going to give you a demo demonstration so from here you can download the um, latest version of Codex so I already have downloaded so this is this is the icon over here coil qual X you can see that here okay. so I'm going to open it so here I will open this is the window of Qualex and here you see that uh, file so that is usual uh, file menu where you can save the graph area you can print the graph area you can import uh, the diffraction pattern yeah so open it. so I will import a diffraction pattern from here I will op import this diffraction pattern and here it is going asking me to uh, find the wavelength radiation so <clears throat> my instrument has a uh, copper um, source so I will choose uh, copper K alpha uh, this is the wavelength and uh, I will uh, press ok and this is the diffraction pattern experimental diffraction pattern that I have obtained if you go to the second part over here um, view so this is uh, how you can uh, uh, view the plotting area so this uh, you can discover it on your own it's very simple plot style zoom in zoom out etc this is the part where uh, you want to focus so pattern here you can give the range so what is the range that you want you want from uh, 0 degrees to 90 degrees so my range is uh, I collected data from 5 degrees to almost 90 degrees so that is my range I can change my range also uh, you can adjust the background uh, also but uh, in modern instruments uh, the background is adjusted already so the spectrum that you get it is already background adjusted so you don't have to do that but in case if you have to uh, if your spectrum is not adjusted by the instrument then you have to do that um, here is the peak search so if I click this it will search all the peaks yeah so all the peaks they it has identified over here so these are the peaks and uh, if you look at the peak search option this is the peak search option so in peak search option you can actually um, manipulate the threshold intensity so for example if i increase the threshold so you can see that here it has identified all the peaks small or big weak strong all the peaks are identified so if i increase the threshold uh, um, threshold intensity then it is going to ignore the weak peaks so you can see that now weak peaks are not identified only the stronger peaks are identified and similarly sensitivity if I increase the sensitivity that would mean that uh, it is going to identify uh, your um, uh, weak and strong peaks uh, as such so sensitive is the instrument is too much um, sensitive for uh, for the peaks so here you can you can go to default so if I change the sensitivity now so make it less sensitive so I'm, I'm decreasing the sensitivity so it is now um, selecting different peaks and ignoring some of them if I increase the sensitivity 
and you see that it is now very very sensitive it is uh, selecting all the weak peaks but if I decrease the sensitivity then and some of the strong peaks are uh, selected and other peaks are um, not selected so you can you can use this idea here you can um, change the minimum and maximum uh, interval also i usually keep it at default which is good enough for my work and uh, now i will go to um, another part here peak list the delete peak in fact all you can again radiation wavelength uh, if you have not selected it you can select it now and uh, k-alpha 2 uh, stripping you know that k-alpha 2 stripping uh, is due to the electrons so when, elect when the x-rays fall on um, on uh, the sample uh, the electrons jump from uh, k-shell to l-shell or m-shell and uh, uh, they get excited and then they fall back and emit uh, K alpha 1 and K alpha 2 radiations. Now, K alpha 1, K alpha 2 radiations, they are slightly different from, uh, uh, they are slightly different in their energies, uh, but they are still very close and they can actually uh, introduce uh, some artifacts such as uh, the increased uh, intensity. Uh, in the in the peak so this k alpha 2 stripping is used uh, uh, um, you know to to uh, to correct uh, to mathematically subtract the k alpha 2 um, uh, um, radiations however you uh, again as i said that you know modern instruments uh, they already take care of this so i never use it uh, zero point correction i don't use it either i don't use smoothing as well because the data that I get, it is already a very good quality data. So now what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to show you another uh, uh, thing here. So this is search and match. So once I click search and manage, it would start searching. And here are the restraints. So these are the restraints. So you can, uh, uh, if you know your sample, so what is your sample? you can choose from your uh, um, uh, uh, your periodic table so for example if you know that your sample is uh, gallium arsenide you can choose gallium and uh, arsenide samples and it, they will appear over here so for example uh, here yeah so it will appear here um and uh, you can clear it from here yeah and you can also load the pdf cards now but in my sample i have no idea what are the elements here so i am not able to use it yeah so i don't know this is completely unknown sample so i will go to sub files however what i know is that my sample is inorganic it is not organic it is inorganic so i just click over here hmm? so this is uh, uh, now um, i'm going to uh, search with restraints and restraint is that we uh, the, that software will look into the inorganic um, file so i'm going to uh, search it and it has started search match option and uh, says not responding as a matter of fact it is searching from a large database so that is why it says it's not responding so now you see that it has searched all the files and here it is here are the results so you see that here here are the results so in my sample most of the phases are from silicon dioxide so here you see that the strongest peak comes from uh, you know at angle 2 theta 20.75 which corresponds to 20.82 so this is this is my experimental data and this is the search yeah and they match quite well here you see that uh, 26.56 strongest peak 1000 intensity and that is 26.60977 so they match 
perfectly yeah so here we have different phases of silicon oxide so this is the most uh, um, you know um, you see that um, 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 the best fit is for this phase you can also uh, if you click over here you can also open the PDF card and all the information of uh, a particular phase is given there yeah, so that is going to be extremely useful so now here if I uh, go to or if I go to this part so let's say uh, I zoom in here so I see that yeah so this is the peak at 20.8 so they almost match if they don't match I can go to the next part so here you see that this one is now so it, I'll search through various phases and I'll see that which one is the most suitable and uh, what I see is that the most suitable phase was the first phase that I looked at that the software automatically searched for me yeah, so that was the most suitable phase uh, however I also see that the sum of the phases are not identified so if for example here so here this phase is not identified so I can uh, look, look through the software and I can see that okay so um, I go to here this one oh I get the calcium carbonate phase over here this is calcium carbonate phase yeah so uh, that means so now I have identified all my peaks yeah so I have silicon oxide and calcium carbonate and some of the weak peaks which are not identified uh, they are from uh, uh, different hydroxides yeah so these this is the complete analysis so this is all that I needed to know for my sample I wanted to know what phases material phases are present there and now I will uh, download the PDF cards and I will look at their uh, uh, crystal structures crystal groups their crystal um, their uh, lattice um, directions yeah and um, all the information that we have here uh, you know the latest parameters and uh, I will uh, make further uh, analysis by using this information yeah so this is uh, all uh, that we have for today and let me know if you have any questions okay all right so hope to see you again uh, soon um, I'll uh, uh, now shut this video.